vibes. I'm sleeping good at night, see the door don't got no lights. Took these spikes, bushy best friends with the apps. And that you, that you, that you, you need better stuff. Standing on my money, dog. Please don't get the involved. Ain't nobody running off. Rules to the basics. I can't be no son in law. I can't take the summer off. I make it look good and all, but this is no vacation. All the goons, they respect me, and I know it. Watch your words and your tone, you're not a part. My advice, please don't try to be your own. Let me know they hold close. Oh, selling out of here to doing stadiums. Gold diggers don't come around, they don't survive my radius. I keep it too real for real, and that's what, that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. Yeah, whole club selling out of here to doing stadiums. Small business don't come around, they don't survive my radius. All I talk about, and that's what really made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich. I never had a mentor. I only want Scarface. I met her at a club. She twerks better when her heart breaks. Hey, hey, hood, the one I wanna. Everything that I. It's week 10 of the National Football League, and all eyes are on Tredavious White. He'll make you pay if you throw his way too often. It's the Bears and the Panthers on Thursday night. Now from the great state of Illinois, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the second city of Chicago. Tonight, it's on to week 10 already. Hard to believe that we got a good one in store as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers, they come in in the midst of a pretty bad stretch here. Losers of five straight. So many different reasons teams hit the losing skids, but the best way out of it, something has to happen positive early in the game. And able to get this out to the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And leading them out, an exciting second-year QB out of Liberty. Went through some growing pains as a rookie. Here's Malik Willis. Well, he did go 2-2 two and two in the last ball game. Well, actually, he went 2-2-1, two, two and one, with the 1 being the victory. Yeah. That's the bottom line there. But wasn't it funny at practice? He threw one when we were watching through an interception, and the defense got out of him a little bit. Good naturedly, but they're letting him know you got to cut down those interceptions. We can't bail you out all the time. Yeah, two touchdowns, two picks. But as you said, they got the win in that effort last week. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Chicago! Anthony Schwartz with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bears go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young single caller in this league, second year in the NFL, but I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked to his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense they come off a victory over the weekend but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game how does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds well wins and losses always factor into you know how you're getting ready for the next game but equally as important when you have the short turnaround what is your injury situation are you losing key guys and if so how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Huh. 
from the gun. Here's Willis. Flush to his right. On the run. He'll let this go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. A huge play there for Chicago. 61 yards. He's already got one touchdown in his first half already. That very nearly was a second. Defensively, they're going to have to figure something out because he's been able to outrun the defenders early and often so far. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. A six-yard pick Kevin Byron, brings up Kevin second Byron. and four at the Panthers' 13-yard line. Now Willis buying time to his left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Watkins. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got a first and goal. Willis will look to throw it. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there on first and goal. Willis looking to throw it. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. This offense ready to head back out there as they'll take over with a little over a minute to play in this first quarter. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Now Willis. He'll fire deep, looking for more. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying... Good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Now. Fourth down, Willis. Dancing to his left. Willis takes a hit and the ball is free. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they're already in the red. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. To the air on first down, here's Willis. Flushed out right. Wide open is Watkins, he's got it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Willis to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Got his man and it's caught. For Chicago touchdown. Anthony The offense back out there now. Let's see what they can put together. Alert! Alert! Willis looking to throw on first down. Flush to his right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately. So he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Willis out of the gun. Eluding the pressure right. And a throw there going to be incomplete. 
that might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They do go for it. Here's Willis. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. To the air on first down. Here's Willis. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Quality coverage that time to slow down was been the main source of offense against them thus far. Got to find a way to slow down that ball in the air. Throwing again on second and 10, Willis. And that is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. On third down, it's Willis. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Willis to throw. He's going to look deep for more. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Chicago. Danger. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take Ready. possession? Now Willis on first and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And yeah, this one too low. Well, the connection they've had has been excellent today, but not on that snap. I think he was asking just a little too much as he extended that play, hoping for one more completion with it. The second down throw by Willis. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Third down, it's Willis. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at... So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play there just before halftime. 49 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Shotgun snap to Willis. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Throwing again on second and 10, it's Willis. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Last play of the half, here's Willis. will extend their lead here just before halftime. A nice throw there by the second year. 